Hi, this is Book Lady again from SteamyRomanceBooks.com, and today I have a book review for you. The book is Rush, which is book one in the Breathless series by Maya Banks. I'll be sharing a review written by Alexandra Alston. Alexandra says, I've read many books by Maya Banks, and when I read Rush, I remembered exactly why I enjoy her books so much. The Breathless trilogy is about three rich and powerful best friends and business partners, Gabe, Jace, and Ash all in their late 30s. Rush is Gabe's story. Gabe has had a rough time for the past few years. The sudden dissolution of his marriage and publicity about it has left him feeling betrayed and humiliated. As a result, Gabe believes there's no such thing as everlasting love. Gabe is so jaded, he makes the women he's involved with sign a contract, giving up total control to him, both in and out of the bedroom. But then beautiful Mia Crestwell, who also happens to be Jace's sister, enters his upside-down world. Mia and Jace became the closest any brother and sister could after the death of their parents. And Gabe and Ash were like brothers to her growing up. But now that she's older, she can finally act on her not-so-sisterly feelings for Gabe. He has always been her secret crush, but he never gave her the time of day because of their 14-year age difference and the fact that she was underage. Now that she's of age, though, it gets very interesting. I have to admit, though, I got just a tiny bit bored reading about Gabe and Mia's sexual exploits. They go to work in the same office, do a little work, and then Gabe looks over at Mia, locks the door, and says, strip, on your knees, or come here. Or they would go home, eat some dinner, and it would be basically the same thing. A few times I thought, where is all this going? But let me tell you, Gabe does display emotional growth. He's forced to admit his feelings for Mia. So Maya Banks really did deliver on a great story. For those who want to know about the steam level for this book, I'll tell you that there was some bondage, a little crop action spanking, and some fast and furious sex. Alexandra gave Rush four out of five hearts. The other two books in the trilogy are Fever and Burn. The trilogy is also available as a bundle. Of course, you can find them all on steamyromancebooks.com. Just click the link below in the description. And don't forget to subscribe for more great erotica content. Thanks for watching, and have a very steamy day. Hi, this is Book Lady from SteamyRomanceBooks.com. If you like BDSM erotica, and who doesn't, right? You've probably noticed a lot of ads suggesting what you should read after Fifty Shades of Grey. Usually someone is trying to sell you their books by casting them in the reflected light of a huge bestseller like Fifty Shades. And more power to them, no criticism there. But we had a different way we wanted to approach this, so we went to the readers who frequent our site and asked them which BDSM books they like. And he mentioned Fifty Shades, so that certainly validated how popular it is. But there were a lot of other books they loved as well. So without further ado, here are the top ten most popular. Cherie Sinclair's books came up multiple times. Sometimes it was just a specific book, like Master of the Mountain or Club Shadowlands, but most often when she was mentioned, people said they loved all her books. People seem to feel the same way about Lexi Blake's books, too. And for bonus points, she gets Book Lady's vote for best covers. They're sexy and eye-catching without being at all sleazy. Red Phoenix is another author that people can't seem to get enough of. And that's good, because Red has written a lot of books. Several readers pointed out Brie embraces the heart of submission because it shows the respect and trust inherent in a dom and sub relationship, and they felt that was important. Sometimes our readers mention just one series from an author. That was the case with Sylvia Day. Several people mentioned her Crossfire series, citing the well-developed characters that made the books interesting reads. And then there's the perennial Maya Banks, who, like Red Phoenix, has a huge collection of books. Her Sweet series was mentioned most often, though, and according to this book lady, her covers are a close second to Lexi Blake's for being eye-catching. There were also other authors who had both single books and series that our readers love. One reader pointed out that she loved Calypso Masters' Nobody's Perfect because it takes BDSM to a level of healing, so the book is about more than just sex. Another reader liked The Art of Domination by Ella Dominguez for a similar reason. She was drawn in by the fact that the main characters had to go through a lot to find the strength to love each other. And next we have a book written by a man, Interview with a Master by Jason Luke. One reader who mentioned it said that she fell in love with the main character's manner and insight, indicating that there was some depth to the storytelling. Next is Red and Her Big Bad Dom by Sydney St. Clair, which according to our reader has a lot more going on than just a play on a fairy tale. 
like the other books on the list, readers indicated that they like some of the more sensitive aspects of the book. And last, but certainly not least, is Shelby Kent Stewart's Blessing. One very passionate reader of all Shelby's books stated that in addition to great depth and storytelling, this book has all the L words you could want. Love, lust, and laughter. So there you have it, the top 10 BDSM books favored by our readers. Or at least that made a good video title. Truthfully, there are a lot more books our readers mention that are equally good. So we're compiling all of them into a free book titled Top BDSM Erotica Books Guide. It was in production at the time we made this video, but it might be done by the time you watch this. So we'll paste a link in the description below as soon as it's completed. In the meantime, thanks for watching and we wish you a very steamy day.